Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better and eventually some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh and today is the fourth of five videos from my Now What series aimed at helping musicians navigate the landmines that come with making your passion into your business. Today's video covers what should be a pivotal and memorable time in your music career, studio time. Whether at home or in a purpose-built facility, recording should be fun and productive, not to mention as efficient as possible. Now who's ready to play the same song 15 times? <laughs> If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. If you've never recorded in a studio before, there's a few things you need to know right away. You'll need to be patient. My abiding memory of recording albums or demos is staring at the back of the engineer's head. Studio time will always take longer than you think. Plan accordingly and be prepared to wait for your turn a while. Be ready to go. Unless you have a professional home studio of your own, you're probably shelling out decent money for this studio time. Don't waste it. When the time comes for your tracking, Play clean and play as consistently as possible. This will help out tremendously in the final edit. You're not live. I know you want the finished product to sound as amazing as your live show does. One problem. This is a recording of electrical signals, not an eardrum vibrating with the acoustics of the venue, your various amps and effects and bodies in the crowd combined. It will most likely sound a little flat in tone and you'll be tempted to turn it up to 11. This will only overload the recording signals and software and waste expensive time. Remember that today's technology can change those signals into any amp head or effects pedal you want. Be flexible. There will probably be other people there while you're recording and they'll probably have some opinions. Be open to trying what they suggest and remember that this is a team effort, even if it's just you and the studio engineer. Have some fun. You can always tell when a band had productive fun while making an album. Things sound tighter yet looser if that makes any sense. And you might even hear some happy accidents that snuck in the final mix. Ultimately, going in the studio should be worth the time and money you spend on it. Proper preparation will make sure it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that it was informative. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click here. If you'd like to subscribe so you know when another video comes up, please Click down here and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified. Remember to be amazing, stay safe, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.